What's up guys? So today we're going to be going over what's in my bag in 2023. I changed some things around and I got some new gear and it might be old gear to you but it's new gear to me. And so basically with that being said, let's get started. What I got is the DJI. Now this is going to be the, the Mini 2. Um, I don't really use it too much but I start doing a lot of more drone stuff lately so then I'm just learning how to use this thing and uh, I love it absolutely love it because I could basically take this thing everywhere and not have to worry about anything so with that being said this is one of my newer purchases so it's gonna be a drone and you know this drone is absolutely amazing now there's always better drones out there but this one works for me because it's small, compact, and if I need it, I have it there in my bag. Next one is going to be my old faithful, my very first camera, my Nikon D3300. This is going to be it right here. Um, I have my 35mm lens, 1.8. I got a bunch of new lenses. Um, so with that being said, you know, this is my, you know, best thing that I've ever bought. Um, my very first DSR camera, so still staying with me. Next thing is I actually found this. Um, this is going to be the Canon QL17. Now I got this at uh, you know uh, they're having an estate sale, and basically the estate sale, um, the person that passed away was a photographer and he had like a bunch of different cameras. But I saw this one, I knew nothing about it. Went ahead and purchased it. I don't even want to tell you how much I purchased it because. You're just gonna be like baffled okay I'll tell you I purchased it for five bucks so I got this for five bucks because the people didn't know if it worked so I took a gamble I took it to my friends and they said this thing is basically mint condition and I used it and I used it for all these pictures and came out beautiful beautiful film pictures so I started doing 35 millimeter film pictures with this thing this thing's amazing look at that you hear that crazy so I love this this is one of my favorite cameras if I could take this camera everywhere I will um, I just started doing I uh, started doing film so developing costs this is a little bit expensive but this one goes with me everywhere if I travel next thing is my old Canon D7 or 7D now a lot of people are saying that these cameras are freaking old and they are. And this one's about 12 years old, but workhorse, yes. Has it messed up on me anytime? Never messed up on me. So with that being said, honestly, I'm gonna keep this camera until it dies out. Everybody's switching to mirrorless. I don't think I'm switching to mirrorless anytime soon because I haven't really seen a big difference. Of course, like the sharpness of mirrorless cameras are always better, but I mean, I could get good quality pictures off of this you don't need that much megapixels so this one is a great workhorse uh, never fell on me not even once took it to a couple of weddings took it to a couple of ceremonies uh, engagement shoots this is what I take and it has the nifty 50 on it I love the nifty 50 um, just gives me so much easier things to do with the nifty 50 and I, anytime I go for like a business shooter or you know profit shoot or whatever it's gonna be this camera with me and this camera with me so 3550 new staple new staple now a lot of people don't know but I love I absolutely love Polaroid I mean these things are amazing I found this at the at a flea market and the guy wanted to sell it to me for like 60 bucks I said nah I'm not gonna buy it and then he said you know what he asked me if I was a photographer I said yeah he said you know what I think you could take good care of this thing um, I'll sell it to you for $8 I was like alright I'll take it so then I bought this one this is an old Polaroid this one I take it to like certain events I mean this is so old school with it look at that huge camera though that's the only downfall it's a huge camera and then you just pick it up here bam Look through the take your picture, but yeah, love this camera. Um, right now, Polaroid and you know Fuji films. Fuji film is always a little bit better because of you know the cost of the Fuji film um, for the Instax um, or better or cheaper. But 
I mean, nothing beats an old school Polaroid. So with that being said, I mean, honestly, this is one of my favorite cameras besides the Canon. Um, do I take this everywhere? No. I only take it in certain events. Um, I give these Polaroids as a gift whenever I do weddings and stuff like that. Um, not the Polaroids, but the actual film. I take pictures of the event and then give the give the film to the actual people for their you know weddings and engagements and stuff. But awesome camera, newest, absolutely newest camera. Um, it's a pocket camera. Um, this is going to be the Canon Power Shot. I don't know if you can see that, but this thing is amazing. Um, 12 megapixels, or 12.5 megapixels on this camera, or 12.1, and basically, I just take this camera everywhere. Um, this camera does not leave my sight. If I go to work, I take it with me. If I go out, I take it with me. It's just a cool camera that you could, if you see something, you know, you could just quick, and you know, take pictures really quick. And the cool thing is, it's 12 megapixels, so it kind of looks like film. And then another good thing is, is that, you know, it's a memory card. So basically, like if I want to, I just unload all my pictures onto my computer, edit them, whatever, and they're there. Um, you know, this one with the Canon, basically, it's film. So I have to get it developed. I haven't learned how to develop yet. I want to, but I have to learn how to develop or take it to go get developed. And that takes up to a week or two. This one gives me the same effect basically and you know I could just get it right then and there and nobody has to you know I just edit them knock it out and basically have my camera with me at all times it fits in my pocket um, charges this thing for some odd reason Canon thought like professional photographers were gonna use this so the camera battery the camera the battery on this thing is pretty decent so with that being said this is the power shot here and pocket camera also my bag so my bag has always been the same I am not gonna switch my bag anytime soon but I love this bag here um, I have my you know tool bag in there just in case something goes wrong which really happens I got for it to protect the rain from the back it's not waterproof of course but you know I could put everything that I have in there you know in this bag and everything fits in this bag so I really absolutely love this bag last thing is my other lens that I use this is a 12 to 24 and this is just one of those lenses that I use it's gonna be a you know f4 but this is gonna be for my Nikon right here and uh, I absolutely love this lens and uh, you know the sad part about it is a manual focus so that's the only bad thing about it that you know everything has to be manual focused but I do get a lot of good shots with this lens.